punched that smack him in the face, Wayne6578. And today we have the best run defense in Madden 21. This run defense will stop all runs in Madden 21. The stretch, the inside zone, jet sweep, toss, and power O. The best defense, in my opinion, is the 3 4 odd formation. When your opponent is in a running formation, that's your two wide receivers, your two tight end sets, your three tight end sets, anything like that that's a running formation where you know your opponent's going to run, come out in the 3 4 formation or the 4 3. I prefer the 3 4. The cover 4 drop show 2, and any Tampa 2 or cover 2 play in the 3 4 formation are the best defenses to completely shut down the running game. I will show you a universal setup to dominate the run game. In order for this defense to work, you must set up your players correctly. This game is won on the line of scrimmage, so this is the single most important piece in shutting down the run. Let's take a look at the nose tackle, okay? Now, I'm using the Chicago Bears, and we're gonna look at who I have at nose tackle, okay? By default, Akeem Hicks is a right defensive end. I mean, a left defensive end. We're gonna make sure he's gonna be our nose tackle, and I'll get to why in a moment. Now, Akeem Hicks is gonna be our nose tackle. Like I said, the defensive line is the most important piece. It starts here, okay? Let's take a look at the nose tackle. As you see, Akeem Hicks, you want to have your largest and strongest person at your nose tackle. If you're running the 4-3 or the 3-4 defense, we're running the 3-4, so we're gonna put Akeem Hicks. He weighs 352 pounds, and he has a 95 strength. As you see, no one else on defense is that strong. No one else on defense weighs that much. He is a big boy. Now, next, you want to make sure your outside linebackers have decent speed and good block shedding. Our outside linebackers are Khalil Mack. He is a god amongst boys in this game. He has 86 speed, and his block shed is gonna be stupid crazy. Now everybody won't have a 93 block shedding like Khalil Mack, but you make sure you put your fastest and your best block sheddings in that position. Our next person is our newly acquired Robert Quinn. He has a block shedding of 67, not great, but he has a speed of 80. We're gonna put him at that outside linebacker position right there. Now we have a good nose tackle and really good uh, outside linebackers. Next, you wanna make sure your middle linebackers, now this is the last piece of the puzzle. Your middle linebackers, you wanna make sure they have good speed, good tackling, okay? Good speed and good tackling. If you have a middle linebacker on your team that is a big hitter, definitely put him out here when you're trying to stop the run. We have Rokon Smith. His speed is a crazy 89. Some wide receivers run that fast. And then we have Danny Trevathan. His speed is 80. Now, if we go to their tackling, as I mentioned, um, <clears throat> Roquan Smith is a big hitter, so that's a plus. But if we go to the tackling for these guys, as you see right here, Roquan Smith is an 86 and Danny Trevathan is a 90, okay? So that's what you want when you're setting up the 3-4. If you're doing the 4-3, make sure your two interior linemen are your biggest and strongest players, okay? In summary, your nose tackle, make sure he's the heaviest and the strongest. If you're running the 4-3, make sure those two interior Defensive lineman, strongest, and the biggest on your teams. Your outside linebackers, make sure they have good speed and high block sheds. Your inside linebackers, good speed, 
great tackling, and that's all you need for that. If you have a big hitter, throw him in there, okay? First of all, before we get into the breakdown for the defenses, let's look at the coach's adjustments, okay? When you're trying to stop the run, you want to make sure if you're running a 3-4 or the 4-3, your auto flip is off, okay? I always put ball in the air to play ball just in case they're passing. Cornerback matchups, you want to be by overall, okay? You want your best cornerback on the best receiver, okay? Um, option defense, I like to run conservative when I match up against uh, Lamar Jackson's, Deshaun Watson's. If I'm not, if I'm playing against <clears throat> like a Kansas City or something like that, if they don't put Tyreek Hill back there, I'll just keep it on balance, okay? Uh, strip ball, you can keep it on that. Tackling, I like to keep it on balanced. I mean, balanced. I don't want to put it on conservative. I keep it on balance. And then these are the important things. The zone flats. When you're stopping the run, you want all of these to be set to zero, okay? All of these to be set to zero. Now, the reason is, is because when they're running, everyone comes down to the line of scrimmage. More people are going to be in the box or near the box when you press hike and you uh, hike that ball. Now, you can always default back to your regular um, zone coverage by resetting the play before your opponent hikes the ball. So if you come out after you pick the 3-4 defense and you think they're going to pass, go ahead and reset that play. Your zones will go back to their default plays. Now, let's get into the breakdown, guys. How to stop the run. Let's go. Now, we have the cover four drop show two. That's the first defense we're gonna break down. The second one is gonna be any cover two formation out of the three, four odd formation. Now, the setup is very simple, guys, okay? If they're in a symmetrical look, like for instance, this right here is not a symmetrical look. They have one receiver out wide and then they have two tight ends on the line. Whenever I see something like that, I base a line, okay? We base a line to get everybody equally on the field, having their best ways to get down and stop the run. You can press if you want, but I want you guys to take a look at the run fits. In the 3-4 defense, everyone except the cornerbacks have run fits. So everybody is coming down to help stop that run. All the gaps are covered and everything. So. This is why this defense is so good at stopping the run, okay? Now, keep in mind that if you go to move a player, if you're using a linebacker, like if I'm using Smith here, okay, and I'm running around trying to stop the run and I'm doing this stop and playing the pass, if it's a run, okay, you have to remember this, and it's coming to your side. Unless you see a way to get over here, you need to stay in your assignment. You need to come through this gap if it's a run, okay? To that side. If it's not to the side, you can strafe down the sideline, down the line of scrimmage, and attack the, the ball carrier. But if it's a run to this side, you need to maintain your assignment. That is very important, guys. Okay, so back to the setup. It's a odd little setup where we have two well, three tight ends, actually. Three tight ends and a wide receiver out, okay? I will base a line on that, okay? Next, I like to spread my linebackers and pinch my D-line. The last step I like to do is, depending on where that running back is, if he's to the right, I think it might be an inside zone, I shift my line to the left. If he's to the left, I think it might be an inside zone. I shift my line to the right. If he's in the middle, I crash my D-line in. One more thing, put hard flats on the field. Remember, we didn't reset the play, so those zones are gonna go, they're gonna drop zero yards once that ball is hiked, okay? I'm gonna be putting my controller on the nose tackle just to show you without using anybody that this is a good run defense, okay? 
you see, we're back there in the backfield hitting McCaffrey, the new best runner in Madden 21. Yeah, right here. Another type of setup. We're going to base a line, spread our linebackers, pinch our D-line, crash our D-line in, put hard flats on the field. Okay? I usually use her the free safety. Okay? Right here, McCaffrey got it outside, but he didn't get any yards. He can make moves all he want, but all the gaps and the run fits are covered, guys. Okay? Again, a setup like this, we're going to base a line, spread the linebackers, crash the D-line, crash the D-line in. Well, sorry, pinch the D-line, crash the D-line in, put hard flats on the field, and just smack this guy in the face. Now, eventually, they will get yards, okay? They will get yards. You're not gonna completely shut this run down. This right here is a funny looking formation. It's a doubles. We're gonna base a line, um, crash our D-line in because McCaffrey is in the middle, and then we're just gonna spread those linebackers and put hard flats on the field. The other option you can do, the other option you can do is the right toggle okay they call it the r3 button on ps4 the right toggle once you know it's a run you can click that down just click it down press it in and you'll have all of your defenders will come down to stop that run okay all of your defenders will come down to stop that run get back on this guy I put that guy in a spinal accident but did you see right here we're gonna click down on that R3 toggle he's gonna get some yards but you need to be quick on clicking down on that now, I'm gonna use the um, free safety this time and I'm gonna show you how if you use her in someone how you can help out okay all right formation let's put these down and then we just base a line spread linebackers crash the D line in Crash, pinch the D-line in, crash the D-line down, put hard flats on the field, okay? And we're just gonna watch where that ball is coming, and we're gonna come over there to help. As you see, we were over there, we were in control of our gap, okay? Let's see. Now my gap is to the uh, outside of the tackle on that side when I'm the free safety, okay? As you see, right here, I'm coming down to help. This play is stopped right here, okay? He can try to go to the right, but we have Khalil Mack over there block shedding, okay? Uh, Denny Trevathan block shedding. Khalil Mack is coming there too. He can try to go to the left. That was his best bet to go to the left. But by the time he gets to the left, this linebacker right here is going to be over there to get that tackle. And he was able to get a few yards, but not as much as he wanted to. I want to show you guys another important thing look at our nose tackle our nose tackle is taking two defenders okay two defenders are on that nose tackle okay look at him because he's the biggest two defenders are taking him out allowing your linebackers to come through and smack him in the face and you'll see we'll run this a few times and you'll see that the reason we put that guy there You'll see it's going to be very beneficial, okay? That's it. Base align, spread linebackers. Oh, 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 oh. Base align, spread linebackers. And I'll show you when we're in a formation that is symmetrical or looks pretty even, I do not base align, okay? I might have to go and pick some other plays because they're not calling different plays it looks like it. right there smack him in his face okay and it helps to have big hitters on the field especially those middle linebackers those inside linebackers especially easy setup easy way to smack this guy in his face look at this look at this we had a block shed from hell almost get back there and in the gameplay your uh nose tackle will get block shits and will be smacking that guy in the backfield get him back there just get him back there guys okay and then we'll break it down let's break down the uh, Tampa 2 they're not calling I'm gonna go and do different random plays they're not calling enough random runs for me right there 
Wrong assignment. Wrong assignment. I went to the wrong spot. Let's get a different. Let's get some. Now we have random stretch run plays. Stretches were OP in last year's Madden, okay? I'm gonna show you how this defense can still shut it down. It's still pretty decent, just not as decent as it was last year. This is a symmetric look. We don't need to baseline. Let's press. Okay, spread linebackers, pinch D-line, crash D-line to the left. Crash that D-line to the left, okay? Put hard flats on the field. In the three, four, Cover four, everyone has a run fit except those cornerbacks, okay? All right, so I know my run fit is right here. So when that stretch comes, if it comes to the left, I'm coming straight down to my run fit. Coming straight down to my run fit. And that point, I could have actually cut over and helped, but this one, uh, don't baseline, but that guy, he cut it back. And because I was coming down, he had to cut it back. Pinch D line, crash that D line in, hard flats on the field, and we're gonna pitch it. She's either going left or right here. He's going right, push everybody down, and we're smacking him in his face. That big hitter, Khalil Mack, just did his smack. Even look, press, spread linebackers, pinch D line, crash D line to the right, put hard flats on the field. And that ball is definitely going to the right. Look at that. Look at Khalil Mack. Smacking him in his face, guys. Shutting that stretch down. And this works even when they motion those guys to help block and all of that. Now, this one, this is probably going to be a stretch run to the right, okay? Because that's usually where the stretches are ran. But if they run it to the left, sometimes you can flip it. But it's going to the right. We already know that. We're gonna be clicking down on that R3 toggle and smacking that stretch in its face. Let's run one more stretch and then let's see another one. Let's see another one to stop. All these crazy run plays, guys. Real easy to stop. Let's press on this. Press on this. Crash into the right. Spread linebackers. Pinch D line. Crash it to the right. Oh my goodness. Smack him in his face. Okay. So these are random jet sweeps, man. Jet sweeps are pretty good if you run them against the right defense. But against this defense, we're gonna shut this jet sweep down, okay? If you notice your opponent is running jet sweeps, don't baseline. Because when you baseline, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna baseline. Sometimes it works. We're gonna baseline right here. We're gonna set this up like we think it's a regular run, okay? Spread linebackers, crash that D-line in, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna use this guy in a 3-4. Where's my run fit? See, it's right there. Hey, now this is a jet sweep. Okay, right there. We did pretty good on stopping it, okay? Once your guy runs that jet sweep once and you think it might be coming again, don't baseline, okay? You can, you can press, but just spread linebackers, pinch that D-line, Crash it in because we think it's a run. Put hard flats on the field. Watch how this outside linebacker, that's Khalil Mack, I know. Watch how he plays it. Watch how he plays that jet sweep. Watch how he plays that jet sweep when you don't base a line, guys. Okay? If we think it's a jet sweep, don't base a line. Spread linebackers. Pinch the line. Crash it in. You can press if you want. Put those hard flats on the field. Let Khalil Mack attack. Unleash. Unleash, Khalil. Unleash. Okay, Khalil Mack didn't attack that time. We had Gibson. But still, you guys get the point. Okay, press, spread linebackers. Crash D-line in. Pinch D-line, crash D-line in. And as simple as that, guys. No matter what they're running with this jet sweep, with the 3-4 odd defense, you're going to smack it in his face every single time okay let's run it one more time don't forget to put those hard flats on the field setups to all of the defenses are in the description guys utilize it and smack these guys in their face Khalil Mack Khalil Mack is on the attack 
Lastly, we'll just go over random inside zones. They're gonna be running to the left or the right. And I like inside zones that are ran right from the center because you'll see how good this defense does against that. Now, this is a odd formation. I'm gonna baseline, okay? Spread my linebackers. Pinch D-line. Crash D-line in because that running back is right in the center. Where's my run fit? Where's my run fit? Attack. Attack. Attack that inside zone. Smack it in the backfield in its face, guys. It's right here. Not symmetrical. Base line. Pinch the line. Crash it in. Put hard flats on the field. That's it. I know where my run fit is. All right, there. He, he got some yards there. Like I said, you're not going to stop everything. But you'll contain most of it. You'll contain most of it. They will not get big runs. Now, this is a funny formation. It's a bunch. I'm going to base a line. Like that. We're going to crash into the middle. We're shutting this inside zone down, guys. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. Shutting every run down, guys. This one right here, I think my hard flats go, okay. For this one right here, we're gonna crash that to the right. Running back's on the left. Back there, smacking them in his face, guys. Enjoy the video, smack these guys in their face. It's your boy, Wayne6578. Yep, I'm outie, but I'll be back. Thanks for watching, guys. It's your boy, Wayne6578. Subscribe to the channel. And click that notification bell to be notified and join the Team Smack'em Nation. Let's go.